Okay, here is the first heat. We have A.J. Nason in the blood is number six turning on the pole. Jared Halstead and the Eagle is number nine. Kip Dan and the Destroyer Dan chassis number 86. Chris Stevens in the number four. And uh, right off the bat, Jared loses a ton of ground when he tries to get underneath AJ. There's MC Howell. Oh, MC Howell takes a wild ride. Takes a nice little flip, Michael, MC Howell. Chad Leroy, uh, him and Chad Re Leroy come together. I think Chad stopped to avoid. He did a good job there, not, not to hurt him. Not to hit him. And Mike here rips his pants. Let's look at that one again. We see here what happens is Jared Halstead trying to get back into the quick upper groove. Does not see MC there. MC runs out of track space. They hook tires and MC goes over. That number zero and the number nine are the two carts that tend to be the only two that flip anymore. We have to fix them. Everyone loves the zero the way it is though, even though it goes over. The other carts stay in all fours most of the time. MC Michael Howell throws his helmet in frustration. Actually, it's Ogre's helmet. Here it is a third time. MC, boom. Jared did not see MC there. MC has to, uh, this should be a reminder to everyone, if you're making an outside move at Gladys, trying to get around someone on the outside, make sure they see you or you have to back out. If the person ahead of you does not see you, then scream or yell or get out. One of something something has to happen. You have to they have to know you're there or get out of there. MC uh, was okay and was able to continue. Starting in last now. And I didn't even get the name behind him. Chad Leroy, of course, and Justin Lamb. Race is led by A.J. Nason. This is his second week of racing. Makes an hour and a half trip out from Cortland, New York. Plans to race all year and uh, many years to come. He's looking for a cart. He's trying to buy one of Dick's backup carts, the one that Nick Dan used to drive. Nick has put on too much weight, and now the car is sitting with no driver. We could have used it here because we had so many extra. Uh-oh. Dick Dan goes over. He was in second. <laughs> There's a Super Mario Kart style 360 spin out. It is here. He started to go over that loose patch in two <coughs> in the first half of the stretch and just spun it out at number 86 again. It's designed to be to use the uh, most of the principles of a flat cart but with one wheel drive. It actually is has a live axle on the back. In case uh, you, someone never did want to make it a two-wheel drive car. AJ Nason now has Chris Stevens and the number four on him. AJ gets very frightened when he sees either Matt or Chris near him. <laughs> he says, oh, great. But actually, anyone who's been racing here for a while, uh, is a danger to make the pass. But they're going to race you clean. So. Oh. Justin Lamb. Ah, he's going. Justin Lamb spun. I'm not sure if they threw the caution for him or not. Looks like they did. Restart AJ Mason. Or AJ Mason. That is with an N. Chris looking around him. He's 
still getting the hang of things. The six is fast, but he's, he's driving a little low there, bunching everyone up. The high groove is the trick groove at Coletta's. The lower you go, the more RPM you lose, and the more likely you're going to get passed. Oh, another spin. Well, this time it was Chad Leroy who went off the track, and uh, Dick Dan stalled, I believe. He's still working the bugs out of that brand new motor. It was virtually completely unused block, motor block. And uh, new rings and everything, so it's practically like a brand new motor. He's still working the bugs out if it stalls. Just looking around AJ. Just a, oh wow, MC almost did the same mistake again. Almost went outside of Jared when Jared did not see him there. You have to make sure you, you have to at least be halfway until their property of vision can see you. Otherwise, don't even try the move. Chris looking outside of Mason again because he's driving so low and Oh, there it is. He spun a little bit, and Chris gets around him. Look out here. AJ, oh, and MC had to pull out at the last second to avoid a wreck there. Wow, that replay racing's real close. MC off the track again. He's in the number zero, a very fast car. Set up for a slightly heavier guy because it has a power power gear cam. Ooh, wow, look at that. Chad Leroy off the track. Does a complete spin and lands next to the barrier tires in front of one of the greenhouse coal frames. Chad Leroy really puts the number two through a beating. car this year has been driven since late last year it's been driven exclusively almost by George Russell who has been uh, very fast in it early last year about a year ago Jason Hill utterly dominated the race in the number two it is a fast car all of them are fast with a good driver behind the wheel That race goes to Chris Stevens and Jared Allstead taking second. 